As a society, we rely heavily on applications for many common things in life, like social media, listening to music on Spotify or Apple Music, or online shopping with Amazon. All these applications need to be able to scale rapidly and not break down with millions of users flooding onto them. If you have ever wondered how these applications are built and what allows them to be so resilient while trying to process billions of requests, it's all in how they are designed. And today we're going to be talking about a popular design architecture that's been gaining lots of traction lately called Cloud Native. Cloud Native is a popular application design architecture that has been growing fast and has been adopted by many engineering teams over the last few years. At its core, it's about leveraging the full power and scalability of the cloud by pooling computers together to create something called clusters. And before I go more in depth on explaining Cloud Native, to really understand this, I think it's a good idea to have some context about what was before Cloud Native and how it got so popular. So quick history lesson. Prior to Cloud Native, we would build applications on our own servers using what is called a monolithic design architecture. All different parts of the application were very tightly integrated together, which caused many scaling issues and other problems like downtime when you went to update a feature. And those things really negatively impacted the user experience. So this pushed developers to find new innovative ways to build and manage applications at scale. This is when Cloud Native was created. The term entered the world of information technology and really started gaining traction in 2015, when the Cloud Native Computing Foundation, or CNCF, was founded. It was founded by many of the big players in the cloud space like Google, Red Hat, Intel, VMware, and that is just to name a few. The CNCF is a nonprofit organization with the mission of fostering the development and advancing the adoption of cloud native computing technologies. CNCF's initial flagship project was Kubernetes, which provides a common language to develop applications across all the modern clouds. And with the rise and prolific adoption of all the cloud platforms like GCP, AWS, and Azure, many engineering teams have started to leverage Kubernetes to develop scalable applications. And that is the cloud native approach. Cloud Native and its ability to cluster computers together gave rise to a new way of structuring applications called microservices. And I'm going to use a made up e-commerce site, but here is an example. So let's pretend that this is the homepage of an e-commerce store. Now with a traditional monolithic architecture, this is what it would look like. Everything is just rolled into one big application, making everything tightly coupled and harder to update only certain features. Now, if we take that same e-commerce store, but with cloud native architecture, this is what it would look like. With cloud native architecture, we can build our applications as microservices. Each different component of the application is broken down into a microservice. And in this case, we have four of them. Having each microservice containerized and built independently means that you are able to upgrade any one service without impacting the others. In Cloud Native, services can be moved, scaled across different cloud environments, and updated easily. This is all achieved by the services being containerized and deployed using a modern DevOps workflow. A Cloud Native application is one designed from the beginning to best leverage the power of the cloud. It gives your engineering team the power to ship features quickly with the best possible performance, scalability, and reliability. And all of that provides a smoother user experience for everyone building and using the application. Basically, the goal with every application is to always provide your users with a seamless and quick user experience. The less your users are thinking about what's going on under the hood of your application, the better, and really it should just work all the time. If you're looking for a way to quickly deploy and maintain cloud native applications and their infrastructure, check out our open source tool, CNDI Run. It's totally free for anybody to use and it reduces the complexity of deploying a Kubernetes cluster to the cloud. Check out our GitHub if you're interested, I'll leave a link below. I hope you got something out of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Have an awesome day.